Hi, my name is Abhishek Bhattewara and I represent Click Solar, a solar boiler manufacturing company. In this video, I am going to explain the basic operation philosophy of the Arun solar boiler and how it gets integrated with an existing conventional steam boiler in any industry. The blue box to the right shows the client's existing heating system. It consists of a boiler which consumes fuel such as furnace oil, diesel, liquefied petroleum gas, etc. to heat water to steam of desired pressure and temperature. This steam is then fed to a common header which is further fed to various processes or applications in the plant. The basic aim of the control mechanism in the scheme is to deliver steam to the existing boiler header and then deliver excess steam to the storage tank. This stored energy can then be used during non-solar hours. The Arun solar concentrator system automatically tracks the sun from morning to evening. The solar radiation falling on the reflecting collector surface is collected at a single point at which the receiver is placed. The receiver coil at the focus of the dish transfers the heat of the sun to the heating system which is water in this case. The steam generation system will consist of a room dish, thermal storage, pumps, walls, etc. Once the system starts generating steam, the pressure in the line will start increasing. Once this pressure matches the pressure in the existing boiler header, a valve will open and steam will be delivered to the common header. As a result of the steam delivered by the Arun solar boiler, the existing boiler will automatically switch off and stop consuming any fuel. Now, if there is a reduction in steam usage by the process due to a holiday, lunch break, end of batch or any other reason, the upstream pressure will increase causing a valve to open thereby delivering steam to the storage tank. This process will continue whenever the sun is available. When the sun is not available, steam will first be generated from the storage tank, thereby saving the fuel that would have otherwise been consumed by the existing boiler. As a result, the pressure in the storage tank will reduce. Once this pressure is below the pressure required by the application, the existing heating system will turn on automatically for further delivery of steam. Let's see how this occurs. <laughs> 